Welcome, Air Signs, to Spiritual Rebirth Tarot. I'm Madeline, your tarot reader and energy healer. So great to have you here today. And um, as we um, look at the reading for the week of January um, 10 through 16. So um, these uh, readings could probably watch at any time. Uh, they may reson resonate with you uh, whenever you're watching them. Um, this is specifically for uh, those watching who have um, air signs in their charts uh, or have a lot of um, air energy in their life. And then um, what we'll do in this reading is we'll start with uh, a, a shaman, mystical shaman card for sign of the overall energies of the week. And then we'll look at the uh, tarot spread for a little while. What are the uh, messages for you guys for the week? And we'll finish off with a uh, card from Whispers of Love and also from the um, Angel deck for guidance. So please watch all the way to the end so we can um, share with you all these different uh, beautiful uh, blessings for the week. So let's start by asking for divine guidance. Okay, so we'll begin with uh, putting Reiki energy into um, each one of the decks. And we draw into a card here. Okay, so the card on the top is the Rainmaker. The card underneath, which is kind of the subcon, you know, unknown thing, is the Witness. Okay, so um, the energy of the Rainmaker is about manifestation, and uh, so during this week, uh, we're at the beginning of the new year. We can set our intentions. For the for the week, um, and also for the year, and this is a real year of abundance, of growth, and like I said, of you know this manifestation. And I think what we're what we really need to be doing, and what I would like to start doing, is you know create one specific desire and kind of develop that, uh, create a vision of it, and bring that into life. And I know, I think for me, the first step is this um, tarot channel. It's growing, and I would love to see it be a light uh, for the community to um, bring those energies to the people who need it. I'd love for this uh, channel to uh, grow and develop. Um, it's, it's fun and enjoyable for me, and um, hopefully for you guys as well. So... Um, at this in this rainmaker you know take a look in your life find that thing that really means the most to you that you want to grow and develop uh first there are many things that we can look at throughout the year but what is first on your list what is the highest priority for you that you can spend time um, journaling visualizing um, being excited about having that real happiness and I really enjoy listening to Abraham Hicks to learn more about manifestation. And then the underneath the witness. So um, spending that time in a contemplation, meditation, uh, raising your vibration. And then no matter where you are, you're witnessing the uh, beauty of the world, the creativity, the compassion, the, the things that are coming out around you. And... You know, I was in our uh, Starseed update uh, for, for um, I think it's last week, uh, that would have come out on Saturday. Um, it talked about this concept of the, um, the knowledge and wisdom of the universe being in every cell of your body and helping the cell to um, grow and change and be what it needs to be. And I see that as a, that's what we're witnessing. We're witnessing this uh, divine mastery uh, being brought into our lives and into the world. 
witnessing the coming of the age of Aquarius, witnessing of the shift of patterns, witnessing all of those uh, beautiful things that are um, happening in the world. And she has the, um, you know, those like horns or tusks on her head and uh, uh, antlers on her head. And so to me, that's pointing to um, also vision quests and uh, witnessing the uh, beauty and the power um, as we are, are meditating to be uh, moving through the uh, different dimensions and to learn more about ourselves and our world. Thank you, Bear. Okay. All right, so we are going to uh, take a look at some tarot. I'm going to use the Guardians of the Night. And uh, let's ask for air signs, messages for the week of the 10th. Oh, my dog. So isn't this cool? My kids gave me for Christmas. Santa Paulo and a little burner. So, be excited. All right. Messages. For the air sign. Six of Swords. What a great energy to start with. You know, moving into the new year. Uh, momentum. A card of momentum. Moving forward. And have any of you watched videos of, like, um, sea turtles. Like one of my favorites is this video about uh, when a sea turtle first um, hatches from the egg. He gets all the way down to the water and then he floats in the water and it shows his experience and he finally finds like a floating flotsam, whatever, you know, out, you know, it's like a floating, uh, uh, frond some fronds that you know have these things growing on them and these little fish like to hang out around it and it's floating around in the ocean and he stays there too because it's, it's safer for him to be underneath that and he's uh floating around and growing and growing and pretty soon he becomes this uh big you know uh green sea turtle in the end you know he starts out as this little baby baby and how he lives his life and so I'm looking at this and just thinking about our growth, both in our physical selves and in our spiritual selves as we go through life. And, you know, um, it has the energy of the six. So, um, you know, things have progressed in your life to the point where, you know, you are still going through the tumult of the five. And you kind of uh, reassess and come back into the state of the uh, the six. You know, if you have a table with six legs, it's going to be very sturdy, very supportive. Um, and at the same time, you know, the element of this card is all about that um, moving forward. So I don't know if some of you maybe have a real connection to turtles. Um, if you see a turtle this week, you know, definitely um, look for the the meaning of the turtle and you know what's happening to you at that time okay i'm gonna take a look at something the book that goes with these cards always talks about the meanings of different um the different animals so the turtle is persistence direction Protection and patience. Oh, she uses lots of P's there. So persistence, you know, looking, keeping looking for that goal, keep moving toward that goal. But at the same time, knowing that you need patience. And we we're talking about the protection, you know, where the uh, the little turtle was kind of like staying in a protective place. Um, and in that case, it really didn't have direction. It kind of just floated around. Uh, but, you know, it may be that, you know, during your week, uh, you'll either, maybe you'll even feel a need for a little bit more protection and a little bit more guidance. And uh, so we can look to the angels for uh, guidance and protection. All right. So uh, let's get more messages for uh, Gemini. So now, um, please leave a comment down below um, if this resonates for you and subscribe to the channel and uh, like and share. And then also, um, if there are any, you know, like special 
you know, like spreads that you want me to do or anything like that, just uh, let me know, okay? Five of Pentacles. So it's kind of like the lack card. Or the, we're talking about manifestation at the beginning. And this card pulls you toward manifestation. It calls it into your life. You know, it says, even when you're feeling like you can't, you can't find that, you can't find that bug. You can't find, you can't find what you need. Your life isn't exactly where it should be. Um, happiness is a choice. So Arizona is choosing to be happy this week, no matter what the circumstances, will start to manifest those things into your life. So you have you have a lot of abundance around you. You know this this uh, bird has a lot of abundance, um, but it's it's having a hard time. I want to. I always see these things hanging up there, and I wonder, I haven't ever read what they are. I'm kind of curious in this card. Um, I'm doing lots of book looking today. Okay. Um, in a world where support should be abundant, where the power, powerful should help others rise up, but instead block the way. The Five of Pentacles indicates the time when you may feel uh, more like the prey instead of the predator. The caterpillar wants nothing more than fulfilling its destiny and moving into a state of metamorphosis. However, blocking the path is an owl, the symbol of wisdom, a symbol of authority and power. You may be experiencing a time of difficulty when you lack the resources you need to thrive. This energy leads to a downward spiral quickly if left unchecked. One that will have you feeling like an outcast and not accepted. It starts with the loss of a job or an income. So, so basically the caterpillar is all about embracing change. If it didn't release the fear of metamorphosis, it would never know the thrill of flying. So, okay. So in this card, we have a caterpillar who wants to go up here and go through metamorphosis, become a butterfly or a moth and fly around. And yet this prey is this flying creature. And so it's like the very thing that it wants is keeping it from uh, progressing. And so sometimes, like with manifestation, I mean, like somebody the other day said, I have trouble with manifestation. It doesn't seem to work for me. And the other person said, don't try so hard. And they kind of took it the wrong way. But the point is, is that the things that block us are the things that we really want. And holding on to what we want, because as long as we say, I want something, we're implying that we don't have it. And so manifestation is about saying, I am, I have, uh, this is in my existence and that vibration is there. The energy is in the vortex. And so the things that we really want, this flying ability is blocking us from that path. So that's what this card is about for this week for you, um, air signs. So as you're moving forward, you're moving in a good direction. Um, you're, you have that progress of moving forward. Then... Um, you have these things, it's your wants, your desires that get in the way. And so instead, you know, um, journal and meditate and, uh, you know, envision and visualize in detail uh, the things that you, you already have in your life. 
Okay, that and that can be the feeling. You have a feeling no matter what. Okay, so the next card, more messages for you. Temperance and Page of Pentacles. So, um, the the frog starts out as, as a tadpole and then transforms, you know, metamorphosis into a frog. And uh, during that transition, you know, it has a beautiful transition. So we're, we were talking about, you know, this intelligence that's in the universe in every cell of our bodies. And that is most evidenced in the frog because we truly have that uh, growth or that change in the frog from the uh, tadpole into the frog. And then we have the same thing with the uh, caterpillar into the moth or the butterfly. And so as the, um, you know, just as the uh, caterpillar changes into the butterfly, so the tadpole changes into the uh, frog. It's not quite as dramatic. That's kind of nice. But um, I think that the way this works with temperance is um, the, uh, te the temperance has a lot to do with balancing your life. So uh, you live a temperate life when you don't do too much of one thing. So um, you could, you know, spend all your time making tarot videos and watching tarot videos, right? Okay. Or you could spend all of your time uh, sitting on the couch and uh, reading a good book. Or you could spend all your time at the gym working out, getting really buff. But none of those things are really balancing out our lives. It's good to have that thing that we really um, long for and hope for and strive for. But at the same time, we're really finding that balance. And the frog has the balance of the water and the earth. Um, you know, the land and the water. And, you know, it's interesting to me that the temperance card is a Sagittarius energy. Um, and, you know, finding that passion in your life, but also the balance in your life and having the patience to bring all those together. And every single time this card has a water element in it, it even has a cup. And yet it's a Sagittarius. So if you bring together uh, fire and water, you get steam. So there's really a lot of power in this card. Power to change your life, to balance your life, to help it flow. And, uh, you know, it, it can be really frustrating and hard to um, be around people who just don't have this in their lives. And... I can be the first to say that there are things, you know, I, I need to add more um, activity and I need to add more people this year and to to my life compared to last year. And I can probably um, not do any more um, hot baths. But, you know, it's like each of us has these things that we do probably a little bit too much or a little too little. And so the temperance is saying, I have a lot of power to help you um, to bring this, you know, bring this energy to life inside of you. This awakening of the uh, balancing energies and the, uh, but at the same time, the passions um, and the patience. And actually it's kind of cool because, you know, both the page and the um, Knight of, of Pentacles really have um, that sense of patience, comes, it's all there, everything's there that you need, but it doesn't happen all at once. And uh, things grow slowly over time. And one of the things I love about the octopus is the number eight, because it has um, the eight legs. And then it, you know, and that is kind of the infinity symbol on the, on, you know, on its upright form and um, power and authority and direction. Uh, they're one of the most intelligent animals um, in the ocean. And in this case, he's bringing that, um, all of those factors to you um, and saying it's all here. 
but you need to have the uh, patience to make it um, come into your life. So we live in a world that is very hard to be patient. Um, you know, we have, you know, especially um, air signs, you know, with your wanting to be a fast, you know, fast motion. Here's a turtle, you know, this is pretty slow. You know, really wanting to have that uh, fast motion, but knowing that um, through this uh, patience and very uh, determined life, uh, you can reach your goals. And I was just thinking about the movements of an octopus and they, they are, they're just so slow and deliberate. And uh, so that's what you're being called to this week, Air Sense, is kind of that slow, deliberate movement into a more balanced life. Um, accepting what you have right now, not, you know, not letting your dreams and desires be your blocks, but instead be that benefit to help you to move forward in the good energies in your life. So as we uh, look at all of these things, we witness this, we uh, manifest it. These are really great energies to start with, really went along uh, well with the reading. So I would like to end with the, um, the angel card first. So, and then we'll do the uh, love card. So, the angels. You know what to do. So, this is, I believe, oh, Uriel. Archangel Uriel, trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. So the angels are asking you, some of you especially will have um, a task that you need to do this week and you know you need to do it and just do it. And uh, they'll be there to, the angels will be there to help and uh, guide you in that. And then the whispers of love So I love these cards because they point to relationship and things that can help your relationship, but they don't have to be a you know romance. Um, just any any relationship that you have. Okay. Act as if your partner is here. Like that's like the perfect manifestation card. Oh, that's so cool. So this card is all about, you know, just the visualization and the feeling, you know, feeling the person there, even, you know, and visualizing, visualizing them there. And also, I mean, if you're in a relationship with someone, um, how, you know, be putting into yourself the feelings of that wonderful Wonderful, you know, how, no matter how you're feeling about the relationship, you know, putting those feelings of, you know, that wonderful relationship feeling inside of you, you know, acting as if your partner is the person that you want them to be. And then, um, it, you know, through, through manifestation, either they will be drawn to your higher vibration and be brought to that level or they'll uh, disappear. And you won't care because you have those wonderful feelings inside of you. And truly happy, beautiful feelings, no matter what situation you are in life. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you, so you will always consider them. And then also it has to do with, you know, the things that you do and say and act. Um, it's kind of like... Um, when when I was uh, raised in the uh, really strict Christian environment, it was like always oh, what would God, what would Jesus think, you know, what would He think of how you're acting right now, and it kind of has that same, you know, the uh, the angels and the divine masters and uh, 
do they see you being in alignment with your higher self? And I don't think we have to look at it in the same way as like kind of like a, a judgmental attitude, but just as a, a reassurance or remembrance that, you know, happiness is a choice. And as we choose happiness, we choose to align with our higher self. Um, we can uh, grow into those um, energies. So that is a beautiful manifestation card. So this is all about uh, manifesting um, happiness into your life. So um, as you go through this week, Gemini's, uh, please uh, take the messages of this reading um, and also help me out by uh, subscribing and liking and sharing the video with any of your friends, um, whether they're air signs or not. If you feel this will be a beneficial uh, message for them, please comment um, in the ways that it resonated. I'd love to hear from you and, and know that you are watching. So um, for this week, I will be making extended videos. Um, instead, uh, what I'm going to do is make a additional um, video and I'm not sure exactly uh, what that will be yet. Um, but anyway, so there, there won't be an extended for uh, this video. Um, if you would like me to continue those extendeds, let me know. They um, Usually what I'll do is pull an oracle card of, of some type that I have uh, for each one of the signs. So let me know if you are missing that. And I will talk to you later next week.